Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, it's my fourth and final day of my long weekend and today I kind of want to do what I can to finish up the painting in this kitchen. Let's see if we can get this thing back together. Now I'm a little bit behind because uh, on Sunday when I started this, I had a live stream in the morning so I only worked about half the day getting this ready. On Monday, I spent most of the day doing the t-shirt stuff. Tuesday, I started a little bit late because I wanted to finish up uh, doing the uh, the prep work in here before we started doing any any painting. So like I said, I'm a little bit behind, uh, but what I'd like to do today is get this thing finished, get the uh, paper off the walls and floor and all that stuff, and hopefully get this room put back together. Now, it's relatively early in the day, so I got all day ahead of me, so let's see what we can do. Now, as you recall, we rolled on two coats of the yellow on the wall and the roller doesn't get really close up to the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around the room, top and bottom, down the walls, down the corners here, and also near the baseboards with a brush and just kind of fill everything in. So that shouldn't take a terribly long period of time, maybe, you know, 45 minutes or an hour. So I'm going to get going with that and I'll catch up with you in about an hour. All right, so I've been around all the all the corners, all the edges, both on the top and bottom. Uh, actually went around about two times just to make sure we have a good uh, coating. And I actually overlap onto the uh, crown molding a little bit because then when I paint the crown molding, uh, that'll be where I'll do the fine uh, touch-up work and get the fine lines and all that. But well, like I said, I just want to make sure there's none of the gray uh, sticking through uh, when I do get the crown molding done. And like I said, I've gone around the doors, I've gone around all the corners, I've gone around the baseboards down on the bottom. So now when I hit all of this and come through again with the white, then it will look uh, real nice and neat. And like I said, then it'll be uh, good to go. I also kind of hit did the inside of the window frames here. And, in, and also on the uh, door over here. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of time to dry and then we'll go back and uh, do the white on the, uh, on the crown molding and on the baseboards and the frames around the door and all that stuff. And then we can start putting this room back together. Now, since I am done uh, pretty much with the ceiling, I think I'm gonna hang up the uh, air conditioning registers here and down there. And I'm also gonna rehang the light over the, uh, over the sink. Uh, neither of those things are gonna be in the way at this point and might as well do that because that's gotta happen. It's something I can do now. Now, when I took this light fixture off the wall, I discovered it had an old style incandescent bulb in it. And, uh, you know, I'm not really one of these people that goes all out in terms to be eco-friendly and all that, but because, you know, I find that a lot of the technology doesn't live up to the, to the way it's built. But LEDs are actually a really, really good way to go. They use a fraction of the power of the incandescents. They give you the same amount of light. They're a little bit more expensive, but they last forever too. So um, I swapped out the incandescent bulb in this one for an LED bulb. And so I'll be getting the same amount of light for like probably one fifth the power. And that's, that makes sense for me. All right, so I got the uh, HVAC registers reattached, uh, both here and here, and I got the light attached. So uh, we're good to go here. I got a little bit more time I wanna let the paint dry. So I think since I was talking the other day about replacing some of the face plates that uh, I didn't think uh, kind of matched uh, the decor I'm going for here, I think now's a good time to run over to Home Depot and to get those. So I'm gonna kind of take inventory of what I wanna get and we'll run over to Home Depot, get those, get those installed. And uh, like I said, that's just one more thing that we can do while we're waiting for the paint to dry. All right, about an hour has gone by. I got the plates for the uh, electrical outlets and light switches and all that. Um, and I've kind of felt the paint. The paint feels really dry now. So I'm gonna go around and uh, do the crown molding and do the baseboards. And I also decided to take the, the plastic off the windows uh, just because it's kind of raining outside right now and I want to be able to enjoy that a little bit. But kind of gives you a better idea how things are going to look out here. It looks kind of nice in here, right? Yeah, I think it's coming along good. All right, a little bit more time has passed and I've got a good coating on the crown molding and on the baseboards. Um, I've already pulled the, the paper up 
and it got everything off the counters, got everything off of the uh, cabinets, and I think it's looking pretty good. I got to do a little bit of touch up in a couple places because uh, when you get masking tape on there, sometimes the masking tape uh, goes in the wrong place. And I was finding that the masking tape wasn't sticking really well to the top of this. So it was sticking up a little bit. And so I got to go around and, and maybe hit that again with a little bit more of the yellow. But I would say we're about 99% there. So I don't know. I think this looks pretty good. Let me turn the lights on here so you can get maybe a better idea of what we're talking about. Not bad, huh? Now I did notice when I started putting the paint on here, this isn't exactly the same color I had in the kitchen uh, in California. I think the, the color I had in the kitchen in California was a little bit lighter. This has got more of like a gold color to it. But this is definitely suitable and uh, looks good with the floor. Uh, looks good with the counter, but the only thing that I'm not really wild about is it kind of looks horrible with these cabinets. So. That's going to obviously have to be one of the next things we deal with is uh, trying to figure out if we can do anything with this. Now we were talking about this a little bit on the live stream on Sunday and I was, I, and I kind of got the brain juices flowing a little bit and I was starting to wonder, you know what, I've got a heat gun. I wonder if a heat gun would make the paint peel off a little bit and if I could do that, then I could repaint it and actually make it look nice. The only other option I can see is a lot more expensive and it's to rip all these cabinets out and replace them and I don't really want to do that if I can avoid it so I don't know we'll play this by ear but for now I think this looks pretty good it's getting to be about six o'clock so I'm going to try and get a couple of things in here maybe the the shelf here and the shelf here and the kitchen table and and the little roll away cart that I have my uh my instant pot on but I don't know if I'm going to get this completely cleaned up today and back together but I think we can get a ways uh, into it here. Also want to put the blinds back in here and in here. And that isn't terribly difficult. That's just driving a couple screws in the brackets and hanging it. And those things go in pretty easy. So I think I'm going to start that and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, so I got a bunch of this back together. Obviously it isn't complete yet because I got to still redesign the shelf that goes over the top and uh, reinstall those cabinets to go up there. But um, I got the two side shelves back in place. I got about half the stuff back in the shelves or back in the cabinets. I got the little window seat back in its place. And uh, I also got my little uh, thermometer uh, temperature gauge thing here uh, hooked back up again because, hey, that's important. I need to know what the temperature is, right? So anyway, I think I'm going to call it a night because it's about 7.15 right now. and. Got to go to work uh, tomorrow and I haven't even had dinner yet. So I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.